We were discussing the HL fastener, and these have been used successfully in a number of public and commercial installations, number of uh, wheelchair accessible projects, and given the right tree and the right design criteria, they'll support a lot of load. And they solve some of the problems that we face with uh, mounting tree houses. However, there's still a cylinder, and a cylinder is not a natural shape for a tree to deal with. The abrupt cutoff at the end is not something a tree itself is going to do. It's going to try to grow a different shape. And so when you study how trees attach their own limbs, what they do is base it on a taper system. It took us a long time to figure out how to uh, successfully manufacture this in any kind of price that people could afford. And so this taper angle allows this fastener to be installed into the proper base that you've created in the tree and to tighten it down and to re-tighten it down later after the fact and to extend it with any length extension for present or future growth. And finally, in the case of remounting a legacy tree house, and we'll talk about that more in a second, we need to be able to pick up the loads and let them move around and flex like trees do. And we need to be able to mechanically put the new system up against the tree house and pick it up. Let's talk about legacy tree houses a little bit. I'd like to think that any tree house that, that has inspired a lot of good times probably has some value in continuing its existence. Very few tree houses have been designed for long-term life. So if you want to create one to start with, you can engineer a number of things to begin with that will help that occur. However, many of them that already exist, if you want a true legacy tree house, you're going to have to do some of these methodologies to get it another generation or two down the road. Thanks.